So I'm installing the draw tight uh, trailer hitch for the Saab 95. This is a 2007 wagon. Say the the hitch is actually a class two, but uh, and it says it doesn't fit the 2007. It's you have to have actually select the, the uh, a 2005 or newer if you want to get the class two. Um, and it says so that it doesn't fit. Um, but got a tip from somebody on uh, Sobnet that uh, that that's incorrect. That it does still f it does fit the 06 and later. Um, if you want a class two, otherwise. On e-trailer and everywhere else, it says you can get a class one, a Kurt class one. But this is a class two, 3,500 pounds. Um, towing capacity is enough for there. You go, and 300 pound tongue weight. And draw tight. So um, the instructions. Uh, also, we got the. Don't get to that in this video, but. Got the powered light circuit with the uh, converter that attaches to the battery uh, terminal. This just splices into the uh, all the brake lines and turn signals in the back. It doesn't go through the uh, sob wiring harness for anything. Didn't want to deal with that, even though you do get the better uh, alerts on the SID, but didn't think I needed those. So, um, first up, I'm going to be doing, I'm getting rid of the tow point attached right here. Um, so, I'm just getting started. Got two bolts here underneath, and then there's one inside the trunk, which, let me see if I can get the light on. The flash. There you go. Um, this one right here is the other one that is at the top, uh, right there. So I'll get those out and see you in just a minute. So uh, we're back. I've got this uh, old tow hitch, um, or tow, not tow hitch, old uh, tow point uh, pulled off. Now I did have to, uh, this bolt was pressed in, which got a little splines, had to tap it out so I can uh, install it back in uh, to plug the hole. Right there, so I have a hole going, and going through right there. Um, now the, the bolts on the, the outside of, the outside one, they were, uh, 14 millimeter, but the nut uh, from this bolt on the, the top hand side one was actually uh, 17 millimeter, I believe. Yeah, so different bolts uh, are different sockets. So, yeah. The thing that this says two on this side, passenger side, got the one, one there, one here. The other side only has one. So, I'm guessing this is going to go on the front one. So, we will. So, I'm doing this by myself. Um, so, I've got some jack stands holding it up some. Probably going to bolt these two in first. And that should hold it up. Um, until I can go and maybe I should go slide, slide those uh, the carriage bolts and the, the plates. Now, mine, I guess it came with these three longer skinny ones. Hopefully, it won't make any issue, but notice this one actually, they kind of missed the center, punching that hole. The other one's uh, nice, and, nice and centered, but that one's not. Um, I'm really hoping it's not going to be any, any trouble. Um, I got that come along strap if I need to use that to pull it up a little more. Um, you might have somebody helping you out. It'd probably make it much easier, but 
I'm doing this by myself. So, because I'm really excited about getting it done. Um. Alright, so, realized that doing the two here first were actually not a good idea. I needed, because I hadn't done the, uh, you know, the, the guide plate and the uh, carriage bolts yet. Um, so, I dropped it back down and uh, getting these in here. Now the plate, you just go through this larger hole, slide it over, line it up, and kind of see it in there. That's not too hard. Um, as far as getting the bolt in there, I've seen people online for other ones or told about, heard about, come with a wire. These didn't come with any kind of wire. I just used some, some uh, string ahead, another long string. And I've got these nice fancy uh, angled long needle nose pliers, so I can feed it in there with one. You know, get it, get in there, get it turned down. Let's see if I can aim the camera. So you get it, feed it in there. Reach in there with the other ones. Grab the string where you see it, pull it down, and just shimmy it on in and get the bolt through. So I've got one, two more to go. Not too, wasn't hard. Didn't take me long to get that one, but. Real quick on this side, because the didn't want to drop the muffler to get to that hole. I actually, back fed through the small hole, pulled it out here, then attached to my bolt, and now I'm gonna pull it back through. So uh, just because I couldn't really get couldn't go through, but I'm just gonna let it go, get it over, kind of shimmy it. Try to show one of them, but it might not work. Let's see. Alright, so of course, right after I stopped recording, a second ago, I pulled that one right through. So, wasn't hard. Like I said, wasn't bad. So, about to lift it up, and I think we're going to try to lift it up and get the nuts, uh, washer and nuts on there before I attempt to line these up. Um, and then go from there. So, Pause another minute and we'll be back. So it's uh, a lot later now, but um, just make sure you read the instructions on which bolts go where. Uh, that's too bright. There we go. Um, so I mistakenly put both of the two inch bolts, which are supposed to go two inch, supposed to go here and here. I put both of them over here. So this back one is supposed to be one and a half inch. So I put it in and it was sticking way out. This one barely had enough. I guess the I could get the nut past it, so there's some sticking out, but taking those back out um, takes a lot longer. So um, uh, pushing them back out is kind of hard. But putting them back in, of course, is pretty easy. I did to get them out easier. Um, I did have to I dropped the exhaust. Uh, yeah, there's three rubber bushings, a rubber thing hangers there. One, two, and the third one is at the other side. <laughs> Hung it back up, but as you can see, nice and bolted in. And it's not even touching the existing bumper. Um, now I did notice it's slightly uneven but there's nothing really you can do about that that I could tell it showed to use those two plates between there because you can tell it offsets the frame up offsets a little bit so it's got those two two plates fit between the frame and the hitch before you go with the bolt but now aren't all the bolts about the same amount is sticking out no, that was a little more, but looks good. One more thing. Um, so, I can't remember if I had it before or not, but um, couldn't get that bolt to go back in. So it's pointless. Didn't need to take it out or of that because uh, it's not squared off or anything. 
So once you put it back in, you start try to tighten it. And of course it just spins because there's nothing to keep it from tightening. So you take some nice duct tape, patch that hole right there, right in the middle. You see a little indent. Put a piece of tape on the back side too so they stick to each other. And that like should be a nice spot to use instead of having to use this rubber grommet. Um, maybe I can get it later on get a little grommet for that. But I can use use that hole to feed the maybe feed the wiring through for the plug for uh, trailer and the light connections feed it to that hole and be able to have it just sitting right above here uh, you can see the duct tape on the back side so thanks again alright and one more bit of information um, what I was waiting for to order my what was it? my ball attachment measuring right at 12 inches to the top of there we go nice focus um, to the top of the tube 